poorly spread, more division of the areas. You know, because I figured that now I'm about to move stuff to get that smoothness I want, right? So I was I was dividing the lines more and more edit. You know, so you see that we are getting some smoothness coming little and little. Then I blast some stuff. You know. See the shape in there is coming a little bit. And then more edit. You see this edit up here, you can see it was here. You know, this is not delete. This is where, where I selected all the points around here and I pushed them to this side, giving me this space. So if I come back, you can see that it moved to this side. The points move up here. So there's a space here, leaving the bike wheel open. You see, now you can see here it's cleared and the shape is in there. So little and little, the shape is in your head. So you are working towards that, all right? Straighten up things. You can see that now I have it plain. There's no thickness. It's just a plain shape going around, you know, just a plain shape going around, and I'm still working on it. So it's very simple, but you know, a little touches and stuff here and there, and you are going. So more polyspray division over here. So let's jump to the to the last one and see. Boom. See, you can see that I divided more lines and I introduced an edge loop over here. Okay, and this edge loop is where I'm going to use to create panels. A panel, I will cut this line through, I will cut this line through. That design is there, you see? So that's why we have more polyspray. Okay, so what else did I do? I do thickness. I made it thicker because it's very tight right now. So if we look and I come to thickness, boom. We have some thickness going on right now, okay? We have some thickness going on. See, so the shape is getting formed, right? See some thickness in the back here, and it's touching the faces, right? Okay, so that's how little and little you would tweak it, more editing, you see, more editing. Now, these lines, we are about to perform panels. You already see the devil gives us three lines and we're gonna push the middle lines inside to get that panel, right? So that will have to be with edit so that we push the middle one in there. Okay. More edit. So, so why is it that we have some tubes here, okay? Let's see where that tube is. So we come here, boom. See, I was trying to cut, let me come back here. I was trying to cut this shape right here, okay? Because the animation, when it opens and it comes back down, you know, you don't want it to penetrate the object. You know, if you have something here, it have to be a hole, so it opens around it. So I have to introduce a tool and design that shape. You see, design that shape, move things around, move, you see it was, it will look like how I got it like this, very simple. It was longer, right? It was longer. So you select the bottom points and you move them up, you know, through the edit. And, and you select one polygon here and you pull it out so that it's very simple, it's right here. You see, one polygon pull out from the circle. All the bottom longer tube was push up to make shorter, very simple. So we have this shape which will perform a boolean and I will use that same shape to be the design for it to lock on his jacket, okay? So that is where the Boolean came in, you know. So the Boolean cut 
through the ship, giving us that hole over there, right? Very cool. So all along, we've been working on the side. We are working on just one side because you already know that it's just a matter of what? Just mirror it to the other side when we are satisfied with just one side, okay? So there you go. Then we mirror it, boom. And then we are there. We have that shape. You see, it's, it's very tricky. And, 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 you know, if you don't go through that route, it's kind of hard. Look at how this side is bent. You know, it will be very hard to push the points around, you know. And, and the Boolean makes that cut, you know, very simple. And if you are able to get this one side better and you mirror, it will look the same on the other side, which even if this was cricket, because they're looking the same, it make the design look right. You see, that's why mirroring is very important. You know, they bring in the normals to make the surface look a little better, okay? So if I jump into the mirror, see the surface change a little bit. There you go. So we have that cut, you know, that shape right there. Very simple. So if I move the animation, you see that it's opening and it's very cool. See, you can, you can spend some time, you see, the lines, the edges on the back side is different from the edges in the middle, right? Because of the thickness we introduced. If you want to spend some time, you can delete all the unnecessary edges and delete it, which will give you a blast node before you perform the normals, right? Or you can even do that before the mirror and then you don't do it all over. You just do it on one side. So very cool. So that is how this shape was created. And we already seen how the animation is controlling, right? It's just the animation is on the, the hatchback, but the stripe is parented to it. All right? Very cool. So yeah, so let's jump back to the object level and see. So there we have it. Very simple, very cool. So in no time, you can, you can get things happening, right? Boom. All right, so. Okay, guys. Since we are working on a hatchback, which operate with a stripe let's see let's go inside the stripe so that you guys can see how it was made because all the other stripes were made like that so that you guys know how to do that okay so let's get out from the system reset ourselves and jump into that stripe boom you see we see that it's right here I work only on one side and I mirror it as usual. You can see that it's a mirror and normals. So how did it start it? Okay. I'm calling the hatchback. We know how to call stuff object merge so that they merge as one, right? Because I'm using topo bill. The topo bill will do that for you, okay? So inside the geometry level, I call a topo bill and I work on, on the hatchback. When you do that, the system will create the topo bill link with the hatchback, okay? And now you'll be able to use topo bill. You know, what does topo bill do? Topo bill build surfaces. It build like geometry on already object okay if you have an object you can create more surfaces or geometry but the actual idea for topo bill was like when you have an object which have a lot of polygons or is very dense and and it's hard to work on it 
you know, in a game or something, you can use topo build to create a low poly objects around it, you know, and then you use that low poly to do what, to, to use in the game. Most people, same idea, to draw this stripe on the hatchback, you know, using the topo build. So the first call gives you the object made. The same system we use to call SAP is, is built inside the topo build. It will call an object you're about to draw stuff on it, and it will link it to the topo build, and then will allow you to draw stuff, okay? So I started drawing on, on, the, on, the, on the surface of it. You know, I draw the points the same as we use the poly draw to draw stuff. So after that, after I draw stuff, you see when I was drawing it, you know, you see that it comes like that. And then I gave it some little poly extrude, give it some thickness, light thickness, so that it's sticking out from the surface a little bit, making the stripe show, you know. So light thickness, right? Very light, you can see the thickness level, very light one. So it's taken out and then that stripe will show. And then I bevel, I bevel the edges, giving it some smoothness, you see, on the edges. We know how bevel work, right? So it's very simple, it's very simple. And then I mirrored it because it's one side, I mirror, I mirror it to the other side, boom. Okay, so I have it on both sides. You know, in no time, that was done, okay? So that is how the stripes was also done. Very cool and simple, you see. And, and after, we, when we come back to, to the object level, I parented it to the hatchback. So whenever this move, this moves with it. And that's why we have this animation going on, all right? So yeah, guys, thanks for sticking around. And basically, we are done. We are done with the bike, you know, because the stripes, I know you guys can do it. You guys know Topo Bill can, can draw it, you know, in places like here on the the stripes on the is you don't necessarily have to use topo bill. You can use poly draw because it's just a plain face and draw it around here. Uh, even if you wanna be more simpler, you can copy the faces of this object, you know, copy it as an object and then use it. So many ways to do stuff. And that is when you, you practice and you get comfortable and you go through, you know, scenarios. You know that certain situations, this is how I'll handle it and stuff like that. But you don't practice and you, only, you, you wanna only use what I'm just teaching you right now. It's okay, but you know, it's more you can learn yourself, right? The, the actual learning is you practicing, you working on stuff, you know, challenge yourself, do stuff that, you know, little things. And then you will think about something small you want to do, but you find out that, wow, this small thing have this crazy thing I can't figure out. And when you are able to figure it out, that is how you get better, okay? All right, so thanks guys, we are done with the bike. In the next class, I will quickly show you how this dense, complex hermit was made. All right, and then 